Hey guys, it's Jojo Wright, and welcome to Next Up. Sorry, my hair looks. I'm sorry. I should probably. My hair is so. It's awful. I'm <laughs> sorry. At least my jacket looks good, though. And God, speaking of awesome, I, you know, I, this girl, Sigrid. Mm. Now say say your name in, in uh, how, how it's pronounced in Norway. Sigre. Sigre. But it, should I go with? Should I go should for Sigre, or should I just do Sigrid? Should we go for Sigrid? I want to make. I want to do. You want to do the Norwegian one? Yes. Okay, Sigre. Sigre. Si- More e at the end. Sigre. 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 <laughs> <laughs> kind of. Man. Yeah, I, I think that. Yeah. That's we'll good. go with that. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, okay. Sigre. Yeah. Okay, I'm gonna. Sorry, so I'm a, this is gonna be an interview full of apologies. It's a it's no, a real honor to meet you. And uh, this track you've got, "Don't Kill My Vibe." I mean, I, I hear people all around. It's start it's starting to really bubble up and take off. But before we get to that, like wh- I want to know the backstory on you. Because I know in about a year, when you get all super crazy famous, I'm not going to be able to talk to you. I have to. I won't be able to look you in the eye, and you have to talk to your publicist, and they'll be all crazy. You know, <laughs> I'm just kidding. But yeah, what? What? what you know, of course, you're from Norway. Yeah. What do people need to know about you? What you know? Um. Well. You want some dramatic? Oh, that's true. What do people need to know about you? <laughs> she was born. <laughs> I can make a song out of it. <laughs> this is a song. This is more like a songwriting session. It kind of is, right? Um. Well. I'm 20 years old from Norway. I'm from right. the west coast of Norway, from a town called Olesen. Olesen. Olesen, yeah, with the O, with the Norwegian letter Olesen. O. Gotcha. It's a it's a really beautiful city, city consisting of five islands, but like connected, so you don't really feel like you're on islands. But it's like in the middle of the sea, beautiful nature around it. I grew up with uh, my two parents, my mom and my dad, and my brother and my sister, and I'm the youngest one. All right, and uh, I know the video for this song was shot in your childhood home. <laughs> yeah. Now, do you guys still live in that in that home? Oh yeah, yeah. My parents they live there. Um, uh, my uh, my sister lives in Madrid, and my brother and me lives in Bergen, in Norway. But you decided when you like you called mom and dad, whoever uh, mom and dad are in the house right now. Yeah. You called them, say, hey mom, I want to shoot the video. Can I shoot it in the house? And I, I yeah. they were probably excited. I'm guessing, right? They were really excited. But um, I remember when um, we brought out the smoke machine <laughs> into the living room, <laughs> and <laughs> mom right. came home from work, and she was like, okay. Okay, there's just there's like my whole living room is covered in smoke. That's what the heck? She's probably th- calling the police or fire department or whatever. She, w- yeah, we had a discussion, but it was all right. Was, um, what, was your mom? Is your like it, like my wife, for example? If we mm-hmm. have anybody over to the house, mm-hmm. I mean, I it's like we go on a this mad straightening spree, like everything, like oh hey, somebody's God. coming over. Oh God, put the dog this and that, and that and put that. Uh, I assume when you, hey, mom, I want to shoot a video. Yes. She must have went on like I had the whole house. Had, she was mopping and everything. Yeah. you had to do this, and dad had it. I mean, was it just she, crazy? Uh, um, both of my parents, yep, they cleaned the whole thing and of um, course, right. we were prepared for getting the visit. But it was great. They were, are lovely. So again, thank you, mom and dad, for letting us use the house for the acoustic video for Don't Kill My Vibe. Thank you. you. Know, what if they said no? It'd been like, you know, you, that, that would be a bit awkward. Wrong. <laughs> bit awkward. <laughs> awkward. All right. Uh, what, okay. And then the Norway, of course, is just like we're talking, we're talking off camera about, you know, snow. Like you mm-hmm. guys have just an insane amount of snow. Matter of fact, as we film this, there's some snowstorms hitting in the U.S. on the East Coast. Here in L.A., I mean, we jumped in the pool this weekend. It, I mean, literally in the you pool. Do. You did? Yes. Oh, we have a pool in a hotel. It's amazing. Did you tell family back home that we jumped in the pool in L.A.? I did. I sent like a small text <laughs> and they saw some pictures on Instagram. I felt a bit bad. Um, but this is my first time in L.A. So oh, it's, really? Um, yeah. It's really exciting. What have you done so far in L.A.? Uh, we've done Hang on. Uh, what have you done? <laughs> um, we have... We played a show, and we right. played a show at No Name at, uh, in LA here, and uh, we're doing a lot of promo, and uh, we've been filming some stuff, and been to the beach, and yeah, it's been really good, hanging out at the hotel as well. Have you gone to In-N-Out Burger yet? <gasps> oh yes, we did! Okay, The first evening, we that, did. You, you were hanging out with some good people then, they, ta- <laughs> they, p- they took it to a good spot. It was, really, it was like just two minutes from our hotel, so that was actually good. Um, It was good, but... I don't know. Like the whole band was really psyched on it because we we felt like it may have been a bit too hyped for us. Okay, it is pretty hyped. It was really hyped. good. Okay, it's really good. Don't misunderstand. It was it was pretty good, but um, I don't know. It it wasn't. It was gr- it was good, but it wasn't life changing. No. So, okay, because some people it's life changing. Yeah. You know. I I think it would have been life changing if I didn't know the backstory of it and all. Yeah. Now it's it's so hyped up. Mm-hmm. We have a way about hyping up things in LA. It's just yeah, we're we're a mess. <laughs> All right, and I, I, I wanted to, you know you mentioned us like we were joking around about doing this interview in front of this, the keyboard here, like it's almost like a songwriting session. Yeah. When you wrote this track, "Don't Kill My Vibe," mm-hmm. I mean, 
walk me through that songwriting session. Like, how did it, like, did, did this part come first or this part? <laughs> like, what, you know, like. This part. Like, give me how that how whole thing breaks. So what do the pedals do? I don't play keyboards. What, are they, what, are they, what is oh, it? Oh, the pedal? Yeah, what is it? It's, it's like a little more echoey. Keep, yes, to keep the chord going. So if you stop, the, the sound disappears. Oh, I remember yeah. when I started doing piano lessons, that was like one of the courses we did in our piano thing. Like, today we're going to learn how to use the pedal. And um, it's just like, so it keeps it. I, I know yeah. my grandmother's piano. I'll be like, what is it? I'm, I'm, I'm like, a, yeah, whatever. I don't know. But um, yeah, don't get my vibe. I think we start off with a verse. And the verse consists of a D minor and a E flat major and a B flat. No, this is in English. Oh, this is different than a Norwegian system. Uh, it's, I think this is a B in English, B major. Even the music, like yeah. it's, music is read differently over there. Well, yeah. I guess, yeah, clearly. Yeah, it's, yeah, I think it's a B and the, we call this an H, but I think that's a B here. Oh, wow, okay. And this is a B flat. Yeah. I will not remember that. <laughs> uh, but, uh, okay, so you guys are but in, yeah. like, you're in, you're like, are you humming this to yourself when you come up with this melody? Or are you on a keyboard? Are you on a guitar? Is it you and a friend? Mm. How does it? Um, I do still write songs uh, by myself, but uh, I also write a lot with different producers and songwriters. And I wrote Don't Kill My Vibe with Martin Shirley in Oslo. Okay. Um, and he's a lovely guy. And I remember we started with this on piano. So Don't Kill My Vibe started out as a ballad. I remember we're writing the verse okay. and we were like, oh, okay, this is where we're going. And when we got to the, when we were thinking about how's the chorus going to be, because the verse and pre-chorus is quite ballady. Right. You could go le like we tried to lean it into like a super sad, like power ballad thing. But then we're like, no, we wanted to do something fun and something kind of frisky. <laughs> so we, <laughs> wow, I sounded so dull there. <laughs> Who's that frisky anymore? I know. I don't know. Wait, we're I say bring it frisky. Back, you know? I'll, I'll bring it back. But uh, yeah, so we wrote the uh, more uplifting chorus. Um, I remember Martin, he was asking me, like, what have you been thinking about for the last time? Because um, writing sessions is mostly talking. We talk more than we write just to get to know each other. And that makes sense, though. I would yeah. think so, you know. I think that, yeah, maybe that's why I like writing sessions. You just kinda, it's almost talk a lot. I know, some, I know some people, some artists that, or some writers, that it, it, the, these sessions are more therapeutic than, mm -hmm. than actually, I mean, you're trying to get out something. I guess the more revealing stuff generally, you know, plays better. Mm -hmm. And sometimes you, it takes a second to get it out. Not, not that every song has to be this gut-wrenching thing, mm -hmm. I get it, but... But you know, it, yeah, I, I know a lot of writers that just it's it's just it's therapy sessions basically. Definitely, and I I think it's true. I think it's um, it's very often it's the same for me. And I think especially when um, you have a very tight schedule, there's a lot of stuff happening, and you don't right. really have time to think about um, maybe like underlying things. Maybe it is just that you're stressed, or something has happened, or maybe it's like a love thing, and you haven't really had time to think about it properly, and then you go into a writing session, and someone, like, we're gonna write something today, what are you thinking about? I, I like those writing sessions, because it makes you stop and actually think, like, hmm, how are you feeling at the m at this moment? Like right now, what am I yeah, thinking? Yeah, yeah. Because there's not always, there's time for it. My team is amazing, though, and they take really good care of me. <laughs> good for them. They are amazing. I love them. But, yeah, um, it's um, it's nice to do writing sessions in between everything. Um, I remember I found writing sessions really scary before. It's just because... It Why was is that? Like just because you have to... You open up. And you're afraid of, I mean, everybody's afraid to be judged because you're going to, somebody's going to have an opinion on what you, do they think yeah. what I'm doing is good or not, mm. you know? After a while, I guess now, at the, you know, yeah, once you write... When you get more, you know, used to writing, mm. maybe you don't worry about what other people think as much. Is that kind of how it Not works? Not as much. Not as much. And I think um, in the start, I was a bit scared doing writing sessions because I was so used to writing by myself and like having 100% control of how the song should sound like. Right. And when I started like opening up for others and letting them into my small world, um, that was, it's always a bit, I don't know, it's always a bit scary when people, to let people in. Right. Um, but when I started doing it, I loved it. And now doing writing sessions with other people is my favorite thing to do in the world. Very cool. <laughs> well, and Don't Kill My Vibe is, I guess it's somewhat self-explanatory, oh, yeah. I assume. Just let me do my thing is kind of how mm -hmm. I take it. Is that how uh, mm -hmm. it, it, I'm right? Yeah, yeah right. I think so. It's about, it's about speaking up for yourself. Um, it's inspired by a previous writing session. So not the session with Martin, who I wrote the song with. It's right. a previous one. Um, and um, yeah, I was in a session um, that was very difficult. And I didn't, I didn't feel like I was treated with like normal respect, like just being 
I wasn't. Um, they weren't being speci specifically polite. <laughs> There and um, in a, they were rude in a writing session. Yeah, which makes it difficult to write a song because yeah, totally. about writing is about getting comfortable with it, with each other. It's really I've but I don't know artists and songwriters and producers work in completely different ways. But I find it really hard to work when I don't feel comfortable, when I feel like I'm sitting like this in the session, like oh, do I say something wrong now? Should I be here? Do you want me to leave? I would think that would be the <laughs> if you had to rank them. If you had to rank them one through ten, like this writing session is this is how you do it and this is how you don't. Mm. That would be on the, on the that would be a one on the one through ten scale. Like that's the worst <laughs> maybe, possible scenario, maybe, right? Maybe, maybe you're afraid to say something in a in a in a session. You're supposed to be saying everything. Yeah, I know. Um, whoever that was, they are, they are. I don't. I do not approve of whoever that was. Yeah. <laughs> hey, before we play this track, um, or before we like, I'm gonna uh, like before you play you this track, together. it's gonna be a duet all of a sudden. Uh, <laughs> what what are your fans like? I mean, I know you're in the early stages of the career, but you know, but I'm sure that's there is. You have a base already started. That uh, are they. Are they? Do you find? Are they crazy? Are they chill? Or still to be determined? Or Th that whole thing is—it's um, it's surreal weird, right? to me. No, it's. Um, I'm honored to have people writing and like reaching out to me and saying like, "I love your song." It means so much to me, and uh, that I've never experienced that before. That's something that has happened during the past weeks. We re released a "Don't Kill My Vibe" just a couple of weeks ago. Um, oh, and that's just so. So for the last few weeks, that's this is your first encounter with. We'll call them fans. Or I, I know maybe know. people that you know, people that are pre music okay. uh, music appreciate. Yes, there is an Instagram account though that is called like Sigri Army, and there's another one as oh well. Oh my god, what it's you, crazy. When you see that, what do you what do you think? You're like, oh it my doesn't god. have that many many followers at this point, but you just <laughs> and, like wait. I follow it. <laughs> I guess that counts. Does that count as a heck yeah? It counts, and I'm Instagram sure they appreciate account. you. Man, I, I recall when Bruno Mars came into the studio. Yeah, I had more Twitter followers than him. I'm like, Bruno, you do it. Don't worry, you got it. You get it. <laughs> <laughs> and and now he of course he's you know just mm. on top of the mm. so I've seen it go from A to mm. A to Z real quick mm. and yeah this will you you're you're gonna be it's, it's exciting it's an exciting don't don't, don't forget this time because it's gonna get crazy at some point mm. but as long as you kind of chill and be you and you'll be yeah. good man thank you for that absolutely thank you don't you. need my advice but there you go all no, right but so yeah, but I really appreciate it seriously well can, I count me in as one of your fans and I'll let me just shut up for now and I want to <laughs> see you do this this track so uh, am I forgetting anything before we do well of course follow her on all her socials at this is Sigrid that's Twitter Instagram everything right mm -hmm. what are you on Snapchat same thing uh yep this is Sigrid all right so mm -hmm. do that uh don't kill my vibe is out EP in the works, or what are we, as far as other musical things we should know about? There will be an EP. I uh. can't say the date yet, but there will be. Um, we're just really excited. I'm excited to put out more music. Yeah. Well, awesome. Well, enjoy your time in LA. Thank you. Fist bump to make it official. <laughs> Bang. Oh, no, let's do it again. Oh, we're, we're Fist bump. Boom. You know the burgers and fries things? Burgers? Yeah. Fries. <laughs> okay. <laughs> All right, anyway, that is, that is of course, Sigrid, and uh, we're gonna, she's going to play this track, Don't Kill My Vibe. Check this out. She is spectacular. Thank you for hanging out. Thank you.